Okay, we now move on to the first of our actual financial statements, and this is the income statement. Now, the income statement does have a few different names to it. So you'll see there that on the heading, well, it's also called the profit and loss statement. Well, yeah, profit and loss statement, or the income statement, its very formal name is the statement of financial performance. Okay? Now, all three names mean exactly the same thing. It's the income statement. It calculates profit for the year, or the period that you're looking at. Very simple, it does the same thing. Now, here, um, the second point, it is prepared for a period of time. For example, it might be one year, or it might be one month. So we always use the timing, always use for the period, or for the year ending, something. It might be 31st of December, or it might be 31st of March, for a balance date, for a, um, balance date for a tax year. Now, there's two elements used in the profit and loss statement, and these are coming down to the equation to calculate profit. It's the same two elements. They are revenue, so what we receive in, and expenses, the costs that we've had to pay out. And so then we are able to calculate a profit, or it might be a loss. But it's always the same equation, revenue less expenses. Same thing. Okay, so th those are the quick little things about an income statement. It's always got revenue, it's always got expenses. But it also shows the detail. So what I'm going to show you is, in the next one, <laughs> it's going to get into the detail of it. But first, you know, profit, well that's going to be a positive number. If you get to, and sometimes a loss, it's revenue minus expenses gives you a loss. So, from the trial balance, grab all the items that you have that are revenue and expenses. And here's the layout. So this is what I wanted to show you. Here's a typical layout of an income statement, or the profit and loss statement. You start with revenue at the top. Then you show all the detail, one line for each item. Sales, interest received, rent received, lay it all out, line by line. Each of those individual items go in the left-hand column. Notice there's two columns. There's a left-hand column. This is for the individual item balances. The closing balances, that's where you put, put the next to each one. You'll see there that the next item is total revenue. So you add up all these items. The totals are the right-hand column. That's known as the totals column. So there's always two columns. Individual on the left, totals on the right. So you've done revenue, you've grabbed all your revenue items from your trial balance. Then you do the exact same thing for the expenses. You go through, grab all your expense items. Cost of sales, rent paid, telephone, wages. All of the ones that have an E next to them. List them all out. And again, make sure you put them all on the, the numbers on the left hand column. Then you want to total the expenses. So total the expenses, they go on the right hand column, there's one number. And we have the total expenses. Now you've got two figures. You've calculated total revenue and you've calculated total expenses. Now you can calculate the profit or loss. And it's easy because both items, well, both items are in that right hand column. So you can just work your way down that column. Revenue minus expenses gives you a profit or a loss. So if it's a positive figure, then you can write profit. If it's a negative figure, then you just write the word loss. You don't need to put profit slash loss in brackets. Just pick which is it. Is it if it's a positive figure, just put profit. If it's a negative figure, you can just write loss. Okay, the profit and loss um, statement or the income statement is the first financial statement that you have to prepare. You'll see why when we move to the balance sheet, the next one. Okay, so we've been working through some examples. You can do it for the example that we've been working on, calculating, um, or sorry, preparing the income statement. So just use the trial balance, 
Grab all the items that are marked R for revenue and E for expenses.